This is the inaugural Grudge Cup 2012, played at golf between the Nottingham Panthers and the Sheffield Steelers. It took place at Sheward Forest Golf Club near Mansfield, each team with six players and guests. On the tee we have Craig Kowalski, who with borrowed clubs, said he had actually played a lot better on other occasions. Next one we have here is Matt Francis, and then some guys turned up from an adjacent roadworking site. Nice trousers, boys. It is, of course, the Sheffield Steeler. Captain Jordan Fox. Not a bad shot. Second off was Matt Francis, finding the fairway. Quite a good drive. Just up the left-hand side. Then we had uh, Ryan Finity. He said uh, that he wasn't going to lose any golf balls, but uh, we had to do some finding from his first tee shot. Way up onto the left, and that took a bit of finding. Next up on the tee was Craig Kowalski. Again, left-handed. A bit uh, apprehensive about that, but I think he's in decent shape. On the fifth tee, a par five, we had... Uh, Jordan Fox. This is uh, starting on to the uh, well harder part. I don't think we need to uh, tell you who this is. Quite a few waggles from uh, the coach. And again, it's a good ball though. Just going with some like a rescue club on the first. Could turn through the ball. Mark Levers. Quite a few uh, jerky actions. But he's in not too bad a shape. Now we've got Eric Werner. Bit of a problem, you need to face the other way, please, Eric. Nice one, that was an epic right there. It's going with the car. Oh, I trust we got that on film, Dave. <laughs> yeah, it's on this one. <laughs> Just need to make sure you're teeing off from the tee box, uh, Eric. He'd play with a uh, borrowed driver, and uh, he's just got a bit of a problem on this first tee. Caught the ground first, and unfortunately for that, straight into the header. Again we go across to the fifth tee which is Jason to the first and we've got Craig Kowalski teeing off. Now we're up on the ninth. On the tee we've got Matt Francis. Doesn't look too happy with that. But uh, he's down the left hand side and he's in good shape. You can see on the left we've got some uh, repairs on the bunkers, new landscaping. The ground and repair again on the right. Mr. Green. He managed to get on the uh, fringe of the green but he's got this for a five. And in fact in the end it would prove to be a six on the pros really because they're playing off scratch. It's Jordan Fox on the 13th. That's not in bad shape. Straighten out the bunker. Digs down well. I think it uh, could come out a bit hot, Rick. Just a bit heavy. The right, it was given a line, but it would come back a bit from the right. He's not happy. Just watch what happens next. Slow it down. Jordan, it does come out on the right. Hitting up towards the 11. It's a good putt, unfortunately for a six from Matt Francis. 
Andrei Kurowski struggling with the uh, long stuff there and he's up on the ninth. Still a bit of a way to go for Craig Kurowski. On the ninth. The greens are normally quick, which uh, he'd been told about. got to hit him Craig. We are playing in winter Craig and the greens are a bit slow. got to hit him and that would turn out to be a six. Corey Nielsen on the ninth. Good drive. In fact, a lot of his drives were landing quite some distance down the fairway. Short of the green. Again, there's some uh, ground and repair. Fairly self denigrating about his short game, particularly his putting. That's a great shot. Great shot. That left him with this short one for par. When I said to him be positive, he said his putty was positively bad. Corey Nielsen playing up at the 12. Quite a big drive that he's left himself in the uh, semi. Turns through it, but he shoved it out right. However, he didn't finish in too bad a place. He's got this for a birdie putt. Right pace. Oh. Good putt that. It's on the 13th. What a long hole today, playing into the wind. Might have gone a bit left. And that's perfect. Oh, it on the 12th. And again he's discarded his driver. Going with the three iron. Good shot. It's a bit straight at the bunker. Beautiful. And it proved to be in the bunker and not for the first time. Switch to the 14th again, Eric Werner. And again he's in the bunker on the left. So Ryan Finity put in for birdie. Turns off. Tricky one back for Ryan Finity. Makes it. Par on the 11th for Ryan. Par 3, 15. Matt Francis on the tee. Just push that out right a bit. It's a good drive. That would be about 280 to 290 yards. Leaves him with a wedge. Something like 60 to 70 yards. A few more waggles. And that's a good shot. That would leave him with a bird. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll go left there. Left center. I love the fact that I'd say left center when I can't pull close to the hole. Had to uh, delete that bit. We head off to the 18th with Corey on the tee. 
again it's been quite windy so it's a difficult driving hole oh shit that went the wrong way Certainly did about 280 yards, leaving about 60 or 70 yards to the pin. Good drive. At this this stage, you got distracted. Yeah, I think you know who that was. Just distracted me a bit, but uh, Corey unfortunately comes up well short. He's left himself with a long putt. We put it up close, and this was for par, but uh, his foibles with the putter came to the floor again. Pity, only a five. It was getting really dark, but then we had a pitch invasion from this guy, but uh, we had to throw him off the green. However, we did manage to get a uh, interview in at the end, and obviously you can see that it was very dark at the end of the play. On the day of the competition, it was cold and windy, not the best, so we've got a few shots here of the course during the summer.